to Nissan right now until February 28th during the Nissan Test It to Thrill event. Online betting is booyah! Booyah! You can win big! But you can also lose. And that's a reality nobody's shouting about. Learn about online gambling risks and save your play at knowtherisks.ca. A message from the Responsible Gambling Council. 50 News Time 3.30. Toronto's number one for breaking news, traffic, and weather. This is City News 680. Everywhere.
You're listening to All News Radio City News 680 at 334. MPPs are heading back to the legislature tomorrow, and what will be the items at the top of the docket? City's Carling Donahue joins us live with a preview of the next argument coming from Queens Park. Carling? James, first on the agenda, discussing Premier Ford's new bill that would move cataract surgeries and hip and knee replacements into the private sector. The bill also pushes to have healthcare workers from other provinces and territories come to Ontario and work without having to register first. Now, Ford says he's talked in length about this with healthcare, healthcare professionals, rather, who say it's a great idea, but critics say this is going to open the floodgates to privatizing healthcare in Ontario. That's not the only expected point of contention, though. Another hot topic is that to be discussed as well. Ford's daughter's Dag and Joe event before her wedding. Not the typical conversation, of course, at Queen's Park, but it's relevant as the premier invited certain developers to the event, who each chipped in $150 to be there. Ford's been under fire for that choice, as his government is currently trying to have parts of the protected Greenbelt lands removed to build housing. Provincial NDP leader Merritt Stiles is writing a complaint to the Integrity Commissioner regarding Ford's actions with those developers. Reporting live, Carly Donahue, City News. City News Time 336. Not too cold today to get some quality family time, but winter not done with us yet. We're expecting some icky weather midweek. Uh, Marie Gomez joins us with a look ahead as a special weather statement is issued. Scattered active weather on Tuesday will turn into a nasty storm midweek. A special weather statement is in place for Wednesday and Thursday. Our weather specialist Michelle Nelson says we're expecting up to 15 centimeters of snow. We have this approaching Colorado low. It's going to move in for us late on Wednesday. Snow really ramps up into the evening hours. So a heads up, it could impact your even commute home. Some areas south of the 401 may also see some ice pellets on Thursday, making for a slick drive. You may want to avoid going out on the roads, but if you do need to drive, make sure to keep a safe following distance, break early, and give yourself plenty of time to make it to your destination. Marie Gomez, City News. This is City News 680 at 336. The man is dead after a fire broke out inside a high-rise residential building in Brampton. Officials say it happened a little before 8.30 this morning at Kennedy and Tullamore Roads, just north of Steele. This was a two-alarm fire. Our crews were uh, found fire on the third floor and uh, worked to extricate a person out to the paramedics who was transported to hospital, as the police mentioned, in life-threatening condition. And unfortunately, that person has now passed away. Investigators say several others were treated on scene for minor injuries, but were not transported to hospitals. It's not clear what caused the fire. Drivers are being advised to avoid the intersection for the ongoing investigation. United States President Joe Biden is expected to make remark remarks tomorrow in Warsaw, Poland, to mark the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. ABC's Inez de la Quatera is in Warsaw with more on what Biden could be discussing. I think we're going to see Biden try to rally support, uh, rally NATO support for Ukraine. He's going to talk about how this is not just about freedom for Ukraine, it's also about uh, democracy at large. We heard a little bit about that uh, today. And he's also going to talk about NATO unity. He's going to tout how uh, NATO is a stronger and more united than ever. Poland has been offering Kyiv substantial military and humanitarian support in the war effort. It comes after Biden made an unannounced visit to Kyiv today ahead of his trip to Warsaw tomorrow. Biden delivered remarks and met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to announce an additional half billion dollars in U.S. assistance and to reassure Ukraine of American and allied support as the conflict continues. If you've been sharing a Netflix account with your family for the past decade, you may not be able to after tomorrow. Netflix says there are over 100 million households currently sharing accounts, which is impacting its ability to invest in new shows and films. To crack down on the sharing of passwords with those outside your house, account holders will now need to set a primary location for their account by February 21st allowing Netflix to see and block anyone who tries accessing it from outside the home base. Now, premium and standard account holders can add one to two extra family members, but it will cost them an additional $7.99 per month. The new rules and price hikes are enough to turn some Torontonians off the streaming service. One of the reasons why we canceled back in January was that was one of the reasons, but advertising as well also the rising fees. A recent online neighborhood pulse poll by Next Door Canada that surveyed more than 3,000 Ontario residents found that 59% of respondents say they will cancel their Netflix subscription. Erica Corsell, City News.
Starmac is zero. That ain't gonna happen. Wednesday. 